All right, we're looking at the 5.2 guided notes. Um, this section is about direct variation. And in mathematics, we say that direct variation is any relationship that can be expressed by the equation y equals kx. And obviously, their k can't be 0. So that, they're just kind of, I like to ignore these in general. Uh, this is the part I'm really worried about. And k in this instant is, in this instance, k is called the constant constant of variation all right so this can be thought of as the dependent variable varies directly with the independent variable or y varies directly as x and let's see what that what that tells us here on this this problem um, if you are two miles away from a lightning strike it will take about 10 seconds for the sound of thunder to arrive um, we can go ahead and set up our equation, y equals k times x. All right, so now we need to solve for k so that we can answer these other questions here. Now, <coughs> we have information. We're two miles away from the lightning strike, and it takes about 10 seconds for that to arrive. So in this instance, y is going to be our distance, and x is our time. So it's 2 equals k, x. Uh, well, x we know is 10, so k times 10. And dividing both sides by 10, we can solve for k. So now we have 1 fifth equals k. And this will help out. How far away are you if you count 20 seconds between the time you see the lightning strike and the time you hear the lightning strike? Well, then that would tell us that y equals, and now k, we know k is 1 fifth. So we put 1 fifth in there. And we multiply that by 20. And 20 over 5 is 4, so we know that our distance away here has to be 4. We're 4 miles away. We're four miles away. If, we're, if we hear thunder 20 seconds later, that means the, thun the lightning was four miles away. Well, that's a pretty safe distance. Now, a little bit closer here with seven seconds, right? So to solve that one, we would say that y equals one-fifth times seven. And here we're seven-fifths of a mile away, which is roughly 1.4 miles away. All right, so here it asks us to determine if the following examples are direct variation. If so, what's the constant of variation? Well, here I have x squared. That's kind of weird, so I'm going to say no on that one. And remember, direct variation, y equals k times x. Well, y equals 4 times x, so yes. I'm going to say yes here, and my k value is 4. And in this instance, y equals 2x over 5, well, that's the same thing as saying y equals 2 fifths times, oops, excuse me, times x. So yes, I have direct variation. So my answer here would be yes, and my k value is 2 fifths. Now here, in the form y equals kx, I have a plus 3 over here, so for this for this one, it's a, this guy here, it's a no. The graphs of direct variation, excuse me, the graphs of direct variation, of the direct variation equation, y equals kx, it has a couple of properties. First of all, it passes through the origin at 0, 0, and the slope of the line is k. The slope here, mind you, the slope is k. So if k is, well, let's get a good k, so if k is bigger than zero or positive, if k is positive, then it's going to go through that line, through the origin. And if it's going through the origin, then it's got, and it's going to have a positive slope. So it'll look something like that. Over here, if k is negative or less than zero, then it's going to go through the origin still, right? But the slope is negative, so it's going to have a negative slope. So it'll do something like this. So the graph of a direct variation, are a straight line, goes through the origin with a slope of k. And again, slope 
if it's positive, it's going to go up like this. As x gets bigger, y gets bigger. And if x gets bigger, y gets smaller if k is less than 0. I want to do, uh, look at our page 304. We're going to do problems 9 through 24 all. And that'll be good. Yeah.